Newcomb will serve. Trailing two sets to one now. And he's got to get his game together in a hurry. Surprising, I think, if you look at the ace situation, Connors has served one more ace than Newcomb. Newcomb is supposed to have the bigger serve. And five short double falls. As I mentioned a moment ago, this was three out of five sets. Connors leading two sets to one. They say this young man, Jimmy Connors, will earn at least a million dollars in 1975 playing tennis. Prize money plus endorsements and appearances. It was good. It was good. Sort of a, sort of a dangerous oh, type volley. He didn't need to take that much of a chance. Backhand drop volley. Right on the line. 30 love. Service eight for Newcomb. That's his bit. Must have heard you, Pat. tell you where to hit it. They can try to spot things. That's Clarence Mabry. They're holding off people. Holding off the crack. Matthew Simmel. Speaking of coaches, Pat Summerall, I saw my good friend Bill Talbert here. He was our Davis Cup captain. Super guy. And he spotted something when I was playing the Davis Cup against Lou Hode that helped me pick his passing shots on the backhand side and enabled me to win the match. And Vic Stasis and I were successful in returning the Davis Cup. Of course, Bill does such an outstanding job of winning the U.S. Open Championship at Forest Hills. We'll be covering that on CBS. Right. <laughs> it's a great, great period of time for us, isn't it? Huh? Sure is. Connors asking for some chewing gum. That's Mrs. Chad Everett sitting right behind Jimmy Connors. And Her husband, Chad, was there a moment ago. Don't you have any more gum, Mom? Jimmy's asking, hey, Mom, don't you have any more gum? And I'll bet you she can't find it. John Newcomb. She can't to come back out. Where's the gum? Where's the gum, Mom? I told you she couldn't oh, find it. Give me million dollars, but no gum. Prices have gone up. Connors to serve from the far end. He leads two sets to one. He's serving at love one in the fourth set. Left first service. Misses. Low percentage try. If you don't hit it perfectly, you either hit it in the net or you hit it too deep. You bring your opponent in and he can knock it past you pretty easily. He did a lot of work on that shot and workouts. Did. Good serve from Connors. Good lob. Oh. Yeah. First overhead, Connors is 
dismissed. He did all the right things, too. He let it bounce. It was, waited. That's right. It was a deep lob. He missed it a little bit. I guess he's human after all. He probably took his eye off of one. He's thinking about the gum. seems to be handling the forehand return to serve a little better now than he did earlier in the match. He's catching it a little more squarely. didn't overplay that overhead. He just blocked it into the open court. Yes, sir. Another service ace with a kick serve wide. Right on the line. There's no way he could serve an ace with that kind of a serve, Pat, except he lands it very short up the sideline. So that makes the angle greater. And then it kicks away from the right-hander. John just didn't seem to see it coming. So Connors has done that twice for service aces. Jimmy says the crowd almost had him. Times he got the tape. Offensive lob down the line. Nuke got around to hit the smash. Ball. 40 love. Double all again at 40 love. 40 Number nine. 50. I think Nuke got his serve exactly where he wanted it. Sort of like a pitcher that hangs that curveball and that guy jumps on it. Jimmy really popped it right past him. 40-30. I think he's trying to serve a little tighter that time. Beautiful. John Newcomb holds serve to lead 2-1 in the fourth set. We'll be back with more tennis action of the Connors Newcomb Challenge match in just a moment. And our government doesn't subsidize our Olympic team as many countries do, so if, if our fans don't send money, they don't wear us as good clothes. Right now, we pick up the action in the challenge match from Las Vegas between Jimmy Connors and John Newcomb, and that's the situation. Connors leads two sets to one. Newcomb leads two games to one in set number four. 
The lob by Newcomb in the far court. And a good one. Oh. And a smash. It's one of the few times Connor smashed to the forehand side. He normally smashes into the backhand corner. That's where Newcomb went. No one was home. That kick serve again. Out. Three. Love. It's difficult when somebody serves a ball wide like that to change the direction and go down the line and keep it in there. It's a tough shot. Right on the line for Connors. Three times he's done that. Three. Love. He's tried that serve up the center in the ad court many times. That's about the second time he's made it with success. New balls. So we have a, a little lull here. And Pat, I think we're going to have to see uh, Newcomb pressing Connor serve a little bit more. You know, he's by no means out of this match. I'm not intimating that. But uh, if he can force a little bit, particularly on second serves, he might break Jimmy's game up just a little bit. Of course, if you don't hit a good shot when you come in against Connors, you can forget it. You can't be wearing it. Yeah. Some got a good serve in that time. 15 love. Perfect shot right in the corner on the volley. That's the kind of thing you have to do on the short ball rather than try, for example, the drop shot that Newcomb tried earlier and lost with it. to look around and watch the people's reaction. They it see is, isn't it? Jimmy hit one line. They just stay shaking their heads. Say, man, how do you do that? That's a perfectly grooved shot. Look at that return. Service was a fault, or a call to fault. I think Jimmy's even a little surprised himself on that one, even <laughs> though it didn't count. <laughs> Newcomb holds serve to lead 3-2 in the fourth set. We'll be back with more tennis action after this word from your local station. That's the situation in the challenge match between Newcomb and Connors. This is Pat Summer all along with Tony Trabert. And Tony just listening to the conversation between Pancho Segura and Connors. He was just saying all we need is one break. That's right. Connors is up two sets to one. He figures he can hang on to his serve, so if he get one break, uh, he'll win the fourth set in the match. Right now, Newcomb leads three games to two. And this is the fourth set. Connors on the right, Newcomb on the left. Well angled. 
field for a winner. Take a look again. You'll see instead of slicing it as he does some of the time, he hits reversed out the other way for a clean out. We come back live. Nuka mystery turn a serve, and it's now 30 love. Connor's first serve hit the line. And Nuka made it out. 30 love the score. <laughs> He knew that as soon as he touched it. And he said, playing like my little brother. I understand he quit at the age of 12. And it was punched nicely. Good underspin. Not a big swing at it. Used the speed on the ball. <laughs> Serve was long. Well. <laughs> it's 40-15. <laughs> 40 it's the kind of thing I was talking about. Trying to rush Jimmy a little bit, take a few chances. Newcomb has only broken Connor's serve once so far in this match. Connor's has broken Newcomb three times. was out. Looking over the lines, but now, see? I'll get you. But he was smart. He played the ball. Right. You don't let it go and then worry about the call. had some slice on it was breaking away from Newcomb serving is so much I think like pitching you know you've you've changed pace you change positioning change the spins another big serve by Jimmy Connor. twice he went down the line to win that game something he hadn't been able to do earlier in the match Games are three all now. Sets are two one in favor of Connors. I don't see that uh, Newcomb is particularly slowing down from a fatigue standpoint. Some people thought that might be uh, the situation. Connors at 22 never slows down. One of the comments made about Newcomb was that uh, although serving takes so much out of many people, he seems to get stronger. You need good stomach muscles to be able to serve consistently well and for a long period of time. forehand in the net. 15 all. Silver point. Is this man serving the best player in the world? Or is Jimmy Connors receiving the best player in the world? <laughs> right now, Connors looks like the best. 
Connors is two points away from that service break that he said he needed so badly. He's there again. Got to be kidding. Fifteen forty. All right, now Gus Land, the umpire, did the only thing he can do. He asked the linesman, "Are you sure of your call?" He said, "Yes." The umpire cannot overrule a linesman. Terrible break. The linesman said he was sure of his call. Fifteen forty. Terrible break. It's double break point now. 15-40 the score. John Newcomb taking a little bit of a walk. I'm sure Connors is thinking now, down in Australia this situation came up and I served a double fault, gave a point away and I lost. I ain't about to do it this time. He's on record as saying I'll never do that again. He feels that cost him that match. Good return of service. That's the winner. And Newcomb great serve to go ahead 4-3. We'll be back with more tennis action in the Connors Newcomb Challenge match in just a moment. Jimmy Connors, that Newcomb is tired. The speed is gone. He says, you got him. I want to correct one thing. Excitement of closing that last game out. I said Newcomb broke. He was broken by Connors, obviously. So Connors is serving at 4-3 in the fourth set. He leads two sets to one. All he has to do is hold serve twice and he will be the winner in four sets in this winner-take-all match against John Newcomb. Oh. By the way, Segura asked Connors in that last visit to the bench in the court change if that ball that shot by Newcomb was out, and Connors said, yes, I thought it was. He also referred to Australia, saying, I gave him something in Australia, and I'm not going to do it again. We can hear that because we have a hand mic down near where they sit when they change courts. 15 all. needs to break back. And he needs to get it done right now. 15.30. Connor's taking a little more time. not to hit the net with his racket on the follow-through. Had he done so, he would have lost the point. 30-all, all set up by a fine, wide serve. Good job to get it back at all. The two-handed volley finished it. Game point for Connors. So Connors, through the applause of Bill Reardon and the crowd, lead 5-3 in the fourth set. He leads already two sets to one. He won the first one 6-3. Newcomb won the second one 6-4. Connors broke Newcomb twice to take the third set 6-2. He leads 5-3 with Newcomb serving in the fourth set.
As a comparison, when Connor has played Laver here, Jimmy won 6-4, 6-2, 3-6, 7-5. Good Eight. serve. Number six. Would Connors be coasting now just a bit? Not at all. Not at all. He'd like to break serve right here and get it over with. He has no stamina problem. He can go the distance. Way he returns serve, he figures maybe I can get another break right here and end it. Well, on this one, he couldn't. That's too good a serve. He got back. Now let's see if you can wait. First time we've had any type thing out of Newcomb. He's been a dead pan so far. It's 40-15. Oh! Can't serve any better than that. 40, 30. And still lost it. You can't return any better. is two points away from wrapping it up. Well, that serve missed about eight feet. Good second serve by Newcomb. Newcomb. Yeah. He holds, and Newcomb trails 5-4 in the fourth set. Well, poor game. We got him. Again, he said, serve the serve two, the first two points wherever you want to serve it. But, but get in. Newcomb's getting fired up. There's no tomorrow. He either breaks her here or the lights are out. Connors leads 5-4, five, five games to four in the fourth set. Sets are his two to one, thinking about upwards of $400,000 to the winner of this challenge match. I'm Plus sure perhaps the end of the argument as to who's the best player in the world. I don't know if I can get arm back for a player with that kind of dough. A guy like Newcomb does not choke in a situation like this. It's do or die. You either make some shots or it's all over. points away from that big purse. Newcomb likened preparation for this match to getting ready for the Davis Cup. He worked very hard. right down to this shot. Oh. Tried 
down to the middle again. He went for Brooke. He was successful twice there in the last game, the last time he served. There it is. All over. And once again, Jimmy Connor is holding up one finger, has proven his point. Embraced by his mother and by Bill Reardon and Pancho Segura. We'll be back with a presentation and a talk with the players in just a moment. Bill? Around Connors, in the meantime, at the other end of the court, Newcomb is along with his coach, Clarence Mabry. In four sets, Jimmy Connors won challenge match number two. He has beaten Waver and Newcomb, both convincingly. He also got his first win over John Newcomb. And to show you the way things have changed, they had to get security guards out around Connors to keep the crowd away. And now Jimmy Connors is being escorted over into the winner's circle. Newcomb is already there, standing back against the net. Jack Whitaker, our colleague, is down courtside. Let's go down to Jack now. All right, Jimmy Connors, could we have you here, please? Right over here. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of Caesars Palace, Mr. Bill Weinberger. Jimmy, congr congratulations, Jimmy. It's good to meet you here again. On behalf of the employees and the management of Caesars Palace, it's my pleasure to present you with this check for $250,000. Jimmy, it was a great match. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. It's really there. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Weinberger, and thank you, everybody. Um, I think today uh, I, I played one of the greatest tennis players of all time. And, and I hope that with you people here, with everything that was said, that what I said and what John said, that all goes in the game and that, you know, if I'm playing Wimbledon and Forest Hills, I hope that John is there and that we meet again, maybe in a match like this soon. Right. We have something more for you here. Just a minute, Jimmy. Mr. Bill Berger of uh, Buick Corporation General Sales Manager. John, or Jimmy, congratulations again. A couple months ago in New Buick. Today, uh, on behalf of Buick and our dealer organization, a check made out to the Vince Lombardi Cancer Foundation at Georgetown University, as you so designated. Congratulations again. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't think I can go without thanking everybody here for coming today. You, as always, people here at Caesars Palace and the people in the audience were fantastic. But I also think that the linesmen and the ball boys deserve a lot because of me on the one side of the court for one reason. But uh, they did a great job. They were, the ball boys were inconspicuous, and, and the linesmen did the best they could on a lot of the fast balls that were going around. So I'd like to thank them also. Thank you very much. All right, Jimmy, congratulations. We'll be right back here at Caesars Palace after this word. I show you my check.